I fell in love with snowboarding right away, like right when I was 12. I'm from a really small town in South Dakota. I had my first job at 14. I worked for a body shop. I was 17 when I started working for the railroad. I chose snowboarding because I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to go to college. I looked at it like I was going to work a nine to five job snowboarding. That wasn't ever going to be different. Like I wanted to be out every single day and getting better and progressing. I just enjoy being out in the mountains. The space that it provides in my mind is like a clarity that I can't find anywhere else. Whatever it is that we're looking for, that's where I find it. Steve. We're up here in the Why Not Kular. Probably the best pal you could ever get it in. It's insane. I was a kind of a street rider and then a park rider for a long time. And then natural progression of snowboarding kind of pushes you into the bigger mountains. Um, you start to realize the powder's great out there. Sick. It's my tracks from the other day. Coming to check her out. Each time you climb a peak, you see another one in the background and you want to go climb that one. And that kind of transitioned into, we would take snowmobiles out and we'd build jumps. And that turned into, there's ice up there, maybe we should climb up the ice or a steep rock section. And we started climbing and then that turned into summer climbing. Summer climbing is the fuel to the fire of big alpine climbing for us. I'm always looking for the next thing when it comes to like sport and just snowboarding and climbing in general. I'm always looking for, you know, kind of the next goal because I like to have a project almost all the time. <laughs> the work that you put into it a lot of times is very not glamorous. He's in the water right now, I believe. Just standing in it. <laughs> hard work, especially when it comes to the climbing side of things. Some things you hike up for four or five hours and you snowboard down for two minutes. You may find the snow sucks or it's getting too hot and it's getting dangerous and have to turn around. The amount of effort you have to put in sometimes is a whole day of effort for failure, for nothing. And it's worth it to me every time. And learning from that is like, that's what you need to do to get better. That's how you take the fear out of it. <laughs> Alex forgets his harness. Oh, well, at least we got an anchor built. People die in the mountains all the time. You should always have a partner, but if you can't handle yourself, you shouldn't be out here. And that's like number one, because you have to be able to save yourself. Oh my gosh. Thanks for coming, dude. The perfect moments on the ride down is like pure ecstasy. It's like bliss. I try to be 100% in the moment and feel my body from my toes to literally my hair coming out of my hat in the wind. It's that much fun. Like laying a turnout in perfect powder is unreal. Yeah, you did it in a freaking little piece of webbing like Dynex. That's hilarious. We all want a great, easy, fun, happy life. And I think learning and progressing does that for you. With me, it's you know pushing snowboarding further. I want to go and do things that nobody's ever done on a snowboard. Yeah!